Hey everyone, this is Dr. Zach Dewitt here at Performance Sport and Spine. In today's video, we're going to go over some simple drills to increase squat depth and mobility. So commonly in the clinic, I'll have patients that come in and have issues with their squat. Now this may be for a tightness in the anterior hip, a lack of depth, or maybe they have too much tension in their back. And this may be for a variety of reasons, but one of the reasons is that they're using their back too much and not their hips. So your squat or their squat may look something more like this, where the back is overemphasized and it looks more like a good morning squat rather than a squat where your hips are loaded. Okay, so for the first step, you're gonna need a light weight. Now this is five pounds, but maybe less for you. Use a book or rock if you don't have a weight. And what we're gonna work on is a counterweight squat. So as we squat down, we're gonna press this weight out to kind of help be a counterweight and keep our torso upright. Now a couple important cues. Keep your weight over your midfoot and make sure to load your hips, don't extend your back. So as you squat down, press the weight out, go as low as you can, try to pause for a sec, keeping the weight pressed out, stand up. Now, as you stand up, really emphasize your hips and keep that weight over your midfoot. So pressing out, again, go as low as you can. Pause for a second as your depth, keeping the weight pressed out, stand straight up. Now, when you do this, try to think about sitting down and back. Don't arch your back, don't protect your back. Just load your hips by pressing the weight out. Pause, stand up. So one modification you can do if the squat's a little bit too challenging is sit onto a bench or a chair. So again, the same thing, press the weight out, squat down, Work it on control and then stand up. Again, the same rules apply. Keep the weight over your midfoot and make sure to sit down and back, loading your hips and not your back. So now for the second drill, we're gonna pull the weight in at the bottom position. So we're gonna squat down, keeping our weight over our midfoot. At the lowest position, you're gonna bring the weight closer to you, trying to keep that hip position and then stand up. Now again, only squat down to the position that you feel comfortable and increase depth as you feel stronger. But again, pausing in the position that you feel the weakest is the most important. We're trying to get strength in the position that you don't feel comfortable. Again, squat down, tension should be in your glutes. Stand up, keeping the weight over your midfoot. And then the third step is gonna be get rid of this external cue. So you're gonna press the weight out and at the bottom position, drop the weight, maintain that position with just your body core strength, and then stand up. Again, grab the weight, press out, keeping that weight over our midfoot, release the weight, make sure you stay in that position long enough to hold it, and then stand up. Lastly, as you press the weight out, you may want to switch hands that you drop it with and make sure that you stay here long enough that there's no momentum before you stand back up. So after you master this last drill, you can stop there or if you want to progress to a barbell back squat, you recommend you hold the weight in your front and slowly practice the form and then increase the weight as you feel comfortable and then progress to the barbell back squat. Now with the bar on your back, you're going to lean a little more forward, but that's just the kinematics of where the bar is placed to your center of gravity. We hope this helps. And again, this will help in the short term and the long term in terms of increasing the range of motion and helping your squat form.